This episode is brought to you by Shopify. That's the sound of switching your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling. Harness the best converting checkout and same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Stop leaving sales on the table. Discover why millions trust Shopify to build, grow, and run their business. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech23. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the t Moss Boss Show. In today's episode, so I wanted to kind of talk about why I'm not as open as I used to be when I'm like, when I'm posting stuff on social media. So for an example, so let's say if something serious goes down, right? And then I'll make that post saying like, hey, anybody's ever going through some stuff, like feel free to reach out to me and talk to me and all that, you know? So... I, at one point in time, I it, I was posting that left and right, and then I think, you know, obviously we all know at one point in time, I was dealing with a lot of hate on YouTube, so these guys, anytime when I would post a video, tweet, Instagram, whatever the situation was, whenever I would post something, these guys was all over it, and I mean, I think, I can't remember if I had seen it in a video or if somebody just overall told me, but it was like, these guys literally had like a Discord server where they would just would be talking about me and stuff. So it was, man, like it was just, it was wild. It was overall wild and stuff. And I'm like, I, you know, a lot of times it was just, you, you couldn't really post or talk about nothing because all these guys wanted to do was quote unquote criticize it. And I'm like, bruh. There's a lot of things in this world that don't need to be criticized. Me making a tweet about whatever it is that I'm tweeting about and it's just something stupid. It's just me just overall posting a tweet. It don't need to be criticized. Where it's all like, oh man, you know, just got home from work, long day. Man, I'm like, I just want to sleep for the rest of the week. Now I'm like, oh, well, you got to work. I'm like, that's, um, you're being a poor worker. You're being, and it's like, oh my God, can I just post something without having people jumping down my throat about it? Jesus, it's like, you, it, man, I'm telling you guys, like, it got to a point where I, I just, well, like, more so with content creating, yes, of course, I was going to post. But, like, with anything else, it was, like, fam, you just, and I, I, no, there was at times where I would put it to the test where it's, like, these guys would, you know, quote, unquote, criticize stuff that didn't even require any criticism. Shout out video, I, you, I've went into, you know, that so many different times about, like, all the different stuff that they've criticized, and it's, like, it doesn't even need no criticism, but anyways, no, but let's overall talk on, like, you know, why I'm not as open as I was at one point in time, because, yeah, like, I, I would be very open, you know, when it came to, uh, like, social media and all that stuff, but, yeah, you know, but when the hate had came through, it was, like, I just, I didn't even want to post no more, uh, like, at least, like, just personal things, because, I feel like with content creating, you know, when you develop, like, when you develop a hate group, when when it's, like, and you're a content creator, when that happens, you're, you, it's like doors have closed in your life. Doors have closed. There is no way possible for you to be able to reopen those doors back up because if anybody is going to see it first, your fan, to see, the funny thing is, is that your, fa- like, fans, right, will see you post some stuff like that where it's like hey reach out if you need somebody to talk to and your fans are just be all like oh you know good guy tyler god show respect to tyler no tyler he's that's that's some real stuff that he just posted right there that's a real motivational post that he just because like it'll be something like that right where i'll make i mean i still do it like i feel like i'm kind of opening up to it now but overall though if it's like on some stuff where it's like if i'm like oh you know reach out if you need somebody to talk to then uh yeah it's like you know they're all like yeah good guy tyler all that um other stuff but no so i think i did tell this story where it's like i you know i did make a post like that on uh i guess it was like yeah it was national suicide prevention day and i made this post saying like hey you know if somebody if you guys need somebody to reach out to feel free to reach out to me and you're you know when you make a post like that you're expecting people that has actual problems to reach out to you and to actually you know they need somebody to talk to they need somebody but 
when I had made that tweet, I only had two haters reach out to me just so they can make some, like, bad video about me and stuff. And I'm like, are you serious? Like, that's, and that's the thing where it's like, you know, you realize, like, how evil a person can be. Then, yeah, you just, you kind of, you eliminate yourself from posting on, like, you know, platforms or just posting certain things on platforms. Because, yeah, you have people out there where it's like, you will see, like, how dark and just so low that they will get just so they can, like, make your life, like, just extra worse than what it already is and stuff. So, yeah, that's why I'm like, with me, it, it just, it comes down to that. It comes down to just, you know, want, overall just want my privacy to just be respected. Where it's like, yeah, people, they ask me certain questions. And it's like, then fast forward, then it's like a couple of years, um, no, not a couple of years ago, last year. Uh, but having it where there's like some random, uh, yeah, another person. And that's the thing where it's like, it's only haters. It's only haters that care about that type of stuff. You'll notice the difference between a fan and a hater. Now, there are some weird fans out there, but they're not a fan. A fan, in my opinion, is somebody they respect what you got going on and don't try to disrespect it at any given point in time so for an example i'm gonna just lay out some you know because there, yeah so there'll be haters they'll pretend to be fans and then there's those crazy fans and then there's the fans right so a fan if you if they if you like or if they join your stream right they'll join your stream and be like oh man you know I, uh, like yeah I, I love watching you um play this video game it's like oh man that's chill that you play this game and stuff and they're all like how long you've been playing it yeah i've been playing you're having a conversation with somebody right you're having and that's the that's the beauty of like when you're talking to a fan is that you guys are just communicating y'all are just talking like the times where fans have joined my streams and we have just overall just been chatting it up about like you know whatever video game i'm playing so let's say for an example i'm playing uh cyberpunk 2077 right so i'm playing that game and they're all like oh you know fun fact keanu reeves he did this when he was playing i'm like oh that's crazy you know like yeah keanu reeves then we just sitting there talking for the whole stream just talking about keanu reeves now that's how a fan would talk and then you know with whatever other game that you're playing yeah you know they'll just we'll just be chatting it up talking and all that stuff i love those interactions those interactions is like that's the reason why i would, like what brings me into being a content creator versus when you have a crazy fan a crazy fan is like they're just you can tell that they they're fanning over you too much and it's like okay calm down i'm human just like you I got blood running through my body, just like you. We are lit. We're even though we're different, we are the same. We are on the same like level of life. We are humans. <laughs> there is nothing special. The amount of times where I have to say that, and it's like, fam, I don't want people to look at me or to view me in that way. Where it's like, you have to, you know, like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm skipping out on work so I can, you know, watch your stream. Or I'm, you know, I'm not picking my kids up from school because I want to watch your stream. Or, you know, my 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 mom needs her medi uh, medication and stuff. And I'm not, you know, but that's, that's too far out. But your stream, I got to watch it. I'm like, bro. You need to reevaluate your for those type of fans and then for the haters, it's literally the same um, you know, conversation. You need to reevaluate your life and get your priorities straight. Because I should not be your first priority, alright? So but anyways, yeah, it's like with crazy fans, like, yeah, they'll they'll say some things like that where it's all like, you know, like, oh, I'm skipping out on my, you know, education and stuff because I, I wanted to watch your latest video or whatever, or I, I, I just wanted to, you know, breathe the same air that you're breathing, bro. You, we're, we're all breathing. Everybody's breathing the same. The fact that it's, and it's like, it, it's, the thing is this. You know, like, if you, obviously, if you're going to see somebody that you recognize, like, oh, hey, such and such, you know, whatever. If you give me some, like, Beyonce treatment, I was just thinking about this the other day, but it's like, if there's ever a time where a fan, they run up on me, and they're crying, and they're like, oh my god, I finally got to meet, and they're crying their eyes out, and they're hugging me, and I'm like, 
this is so weird. I'm like, what do you, how do you expect me to react? How does anybody, my thing is this, even when you see how Beyonce, when she be reacting, like, yeah, you'll see, you'll see where it, they'll like, well, like, oh, you know, hugging them, they'll like, it's okay, it's okay, but it's like, they're really trying to tell them, hey, stop crying, <laughs> like, stop that, there is, you should not be crying over a person, it's like, there, there is no reason to cry over me like that, that is, just stop it, okay, so, but yeah, it's just, you see that, and I'm like, oh my god, like these, man, this is weird, <laughs> it's just, I don't know how to, I don't know how to overall, like, respond to this, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what to do in things, so, and then, uh, yeah, then there's, like, the, you know, the haters, where it's, like, they're trying to, I don't know why, but it's, like, I just, I just remember the one hater that would join my stream, and he was asking me all of these personal questions, and it's, like, I don't know what that, and that's why I'm like, I'm very private about my life because I don't want people to be all like, oh, well, you know, now that I um, know what area you live in, I'm going to um, try to go over to your place and see, no, ain't nobody asked you to do that. That's the thing where it's like when you have people that are that upset where if like, okay, yeah, so now talking on the haters where it's like they're that upset where they feel like they got to cause some sort of like bodily harm to you or whatever, or try to end your life or hurt you, whatever it is. But it, it, it's like, it's stuff like that where, you know, and then I'd sit down and I'd think of that one dude and it's like, I was, because no, it was not too long ago where I had posted these, uh, this video of like the messages that he would leave underneath my um like stream and it's funny because he knew he was saying um some crazy stuff that's why he uh ended up i think he ended up deactivating that account i'm like yeah because you and i both know you said some crazy stuff if you didn't you still would be using your main account so but anyways no he was asking me questions about how many people live in my house you know, like, how many stories is it? Do you have a weapon? Like, all these other... I'm like, what does this have to do? Why is it that when people, they can join my stream, not ask me questions like that, but you're asking me a question like that? Well, why Why would that even matter? What, what, what sense does that make? Like, I, if that's the case, I'm like, view me as the most dangerous person of all time. View me as, like, where I post videos of me shooting guns left and right. I got my whole house decked out in security. It's like, bro, nobody needs to know that nobody at all but it's like when you asking a question like that then it's like okay well maybe yeah i should go out and get me a weapon because uh yeah it's the people out there if they don't they i'm gonna just say this much if you're a streamer and somebody asks, or a YouTuber and somebody asks you questions like that, ban them. Don't even give them the satisfaction of an answer. Ban them. If they're like, I didn't say anything wrong. What are you talking about? I didn't say anything. Don't even respond to it. Ban them. Because no, it's just, it's my, my thing is this. You should never, all right? And this is just, you know, talking to anybody out there where it's like, because I know there might be a fan where they don't realize that that's like a crazy question. But I'm like, yeah, you asking about a person's personal life? No, bruh. If, if it's something that that person is, you know, they're willing to talk on and stuff. So, like, let, let, let's let think of some good um, example. So, like, let's say if the content creator just recently had a kid and stuff. And you ask them a question like, hey, how's, you know, how's the, uh, the um, mother life? Or how's the father life? Now, if they recently spawn like that's a personal question don't ask me that then that could the content creator may overall be a little weird and stuff because i'm like how is that i just asked you you ain't gotta like tell me about like you know where exactly the, the location i'm just asking like how is it is it is it good or is it bad like i mean obviously you're gonna look at it as good so i guess it's just you know it's one of those questions that you might already have an answer to but still it's like i guess if if like if it had been me and I just recently had a kid, and then somebody joined my stream and was like, oh, you know, how's uh, father life going for you? I'm like, oh, man, you know, it's it's it's, it's a lot. <laughs> I'm like, dang, up in the middle of the night. But no, it's it's overall good, though. It's like, it's good to just, you know, have a little junior version of me and stuff. So that's how I, like, that's how I think I would respond to that. But yeah, if it's on some stuff where they're all like, you know, oh, what's your address? I'm like, why do you need to know that? I'm like, what, what sense does that make of even asking me a question like that? It's not a bad question. I'm just, no. 
though, it's a question you don't need to know an answer to. I'm like, you don't hear, like, because the, the funny thing is, is like, if I wish I did have that opportunity to ask them, like, okay, well, what's your deepest and darkest secrets? You know, what's some stuff that you haven't told nobody? What's, what's something that you are so ashamed of the world knowing that you don't want nobody in this world to know? You don't want me to know. You don't want your family to know. You don't want them to know nothing. What is the one thing that you're so ashamed of? And how would you feel, right? If that one, I take your deepest and darkest secret, put it on one of those planes that be carrying those like, uh, those, like those paper tarp things that be flying in the back of it. You know how like, you know how like those planes where it'll have like a phone number or something that like, and it's on like some tarp or like just some like big giant sign. Like yeah, a sign overall, but it's like, it, it ain't really a sign. It ain't like no billboard type, but it's like, it's a, we're going to call it a plane sign. Okay. We're going to call it a plane sign. Cause I, I just can't think of the official name for it. But yeah, we're going to call it a plain sign. But no, so overall, it's like I put your deepest and darkest secret on that or publicize it on YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, wherever and stuff. And I'm telling everybody your deepest and darkest um, secret. That's an invasion of your privacy. So why is it that my, my question is, why is it that I can't have that same, you know, energy back where it's like, OK, because then people are gonna be like, well, it ain't all that. Like, no, bro, if I consider it private, it is private. OK, so. Yeah, I just, that's why I'm like, there's just certain things that I, for, I think all content creators, all content creators shouldn't overall uh, talk on it, but yeah, it's just, man, it's just people out there, they just, they weird, I don't know why they're weird, but they're weird, so, but anyways, and that being said, I will talk to y'all later, thank you guys for watching and listening, if you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe, and if you're viewing this on podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up. Make sure you subscribe to one of my 46 YouTube channels. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram at TMossBoss. And make sure you follow my Facebook page at TMossBoss Fan Page. Again, people, haters, stop being weird. Crazy fans, we're not no king, gods, or queens. And fans, keep doing what you're doing, all right? But anyways, thank you guys for watching and or listening, and peace.